Hello, hello, hello. Wow, already so many people tuning in right now. Tell me where you are tuning in from in uh, the world because we have people all over the world checking this out right now. Uh, if you're new here, my name is Sunny Leonard Easy. This is really special because I haven't been live on this channel in a very long time, years and years and years but we're doing it with good reason today. Uh, and we generally do these on our other channel, actually, which I'm gonna talk about in a second. Um, but if you're like, Sunny, what are you doing? Why are you live? Let me explain. So we are doing a very special case study today of one of our clients in our Authority Accelerator program. Our Authority Accelerator program is built to help you turn your knowledge and your expertise into a highly scalable and impactful business that can have impact on a global level. So we like to share the real success stories from our clients who have been able to do just that in a ton of different niches. And we do these basically once a month. And we haven't been doing them on this channel, but this one is our last one of the year. And it's a special one because this person actually holds a record for the largest pre-sale, as we call it a pop sale, of her program. And I'm going to talk more about just how large that pre-sale was <laughs> in a second here. Um, I'm going to check in with the comments. We have so many people tuning in. So I just wanted to say hi to everybody. Nice to see you all here. We have Dave from Kentucky, Courtney from Colorado, uh, your efficiency guide from Vancouver, BC. Hello, neighbor. Uh, El Paso, Texas. Hello. Hi, Allison. We also have fellow Authority Accelerator members here. If you are a member of the Authority Accelerator, we'd love to hear from you. Um, we have Mimi here, uh, from, uh, Sam from the UK. Uh, we have people tuning in from Edmonton, Ontario, um, Ashland. We have people tuning in from Illinois, Missouri, uh, Southern California, Germany, Kansas City, uh, Montreal. Uh, hi, Courtney Miller. Uh, Quebec. Wow. So many folks tuning in. Thank you so much for being here. I'm really, really excited to share this with you today. Um, and I did just want to touch on the fact that, like I said, we generally do these on our other channel, which is strictly dedicated to our reviews. So I'm actually going to remove myself for a second so you can take a look at this. But this is our other channel. That is a great place to head over to and check out tons of client case studies just like this. Like I said, we do these generally once a month. Um, so you can look up the Authority Accelerator Reviews channel on YouTube and it's grown actually pretty fast, which is incredible because it's strictly client case studies over there. But if you're interested and you want to see some success stories and be inspired, it's a great place to go. But we chose to do our final client case study of 2023. Can't believe it. I uh, can't believe the year's almost over on my main channel. And our biggest success story, I would say, of the year on our main channel. No pressure. Uh, our special guest is waiting in, behind the scenes. So <laughs> no pressure to you. Um, so I wanted to just check in with the comments one more time, and then I'm going to dig into our special guest and a little bit more about her today. We have folks from India, Australia. This is incredible. Thank you so much for being here. And I'm sure this is going to be value packed for you today. All right. So let's talk a little bit about Chaley. So Chaley is a former midwife and she went from completely offline. Like I'm talking no social media, had really no interest in the online world, did her master's, did a ton of education and now has a booming online business. So she didn't have an audience. She didn't have the authority online and she's gone from zero to very impressive, which I'll dig into in a very short span of time. And she is our one of our clients inside of our Authority Accelerator program. So she went from midwife who's getting burnt out from the one-on-one -on -one work to global impact and actually six Xing her revenue, all while being able to work from home. So just some details on this. She is an incredible health coach and expert, and she specializes in alternative medicine. And over 30 days of launching her program before it was even built. So if you've been on my channel for a while, you've probably seen a few videos talking about pre-selling your online program. She used our methodology and she was able to generate $214,000 in 30 days with her program before it was built. 
and her program is phenomenal. Her clients are getting incredible results, life-changing results, and we're going to talk more about that today. So we're going to uncover exactly how she did it, the ups, the downs, everything in between to help her get to a place where she was, she's built this really thriving, sustainable, and scalable online business that's allowed her to impact more clients around the world. So that's what we're going to do today. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to uh, let us know your big light bulb moments and takeaways today in the comments. We'd love to see it. As I like to say, comments are my love language. Um, so I look forward to seeing those. A few milestones before we bring Chaley on. So as a midwife, her annual income was around $45,000, but once she pivoted and turned her expertise into an online program, she's brought in over $297,000, so just under $300,000. By simplifying her business model, she's managed to scale her business to new heights, now has more freedom, flexibility, and time. And all of the graduates from her who stepped into her licensed facilitator roles have not only recouped their initial investment in her program, but they've also recovered their licensing fees, demonstrating the tangible financial returns of their educational investment into her course. And all of her students are facilitating, they're getting incredible results and feedback from their clients. So they're making an impact on the people they can serve with this specialty in plant medicine. And following our authority accelerator system, she was so, which was so straightforward for her, she was able to strategically help generate maximum productivity and she isn't even on YouTube yet. So since joining the Authority Accelerator, she's no longer burning out. She's no longer living off of savings and now gets to work with people she truly likes, which means her life is much more calm and secure because her business is now sustainable. So can you let me know in the chat, in the comments, wherever you are tuning in right now, if you would love to have a business, one that you can do from home, have online, that you can use your knowledge and your expertise to make an impact on people, all from the comfort of your house. Does that sound like something that would be really desirable to you to do? in 2024, because that's what we're going to talk about today. And I did want to mention, if you really are ready to take this seriously, super important, you actually can go ahead and hit, you can re reply in the comments below right now, hit up or just comment with apply. And McCole or Sheridan from my team will actually be able to connect with you and support you in your first steps to being able to do that. So we can really see how we can best support you with our expertise. All right. So without further ado, I see a ton of people saying, hell yeah, that's what I want. Uh, Mom Vanna, uh, I wish everyone knew that about math education it would change the world. Absolutely. Making online school uh, for makers, testing limits. Yes, absolutely. So, so many people. So stay tuned because we're going to dig into all of that today. All right, so without further ado, let's bring on Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm good. I know that was a big introduction and we're so happy to have you here. And there's so many people tuning in that are so excited about your journey and your story and lots of your fellow Authority Accelerator members are here to cheer you on as well. Um, so let's kind of get started with the basics because it's a really big leap to go from offline world to online world um, and to do it in the way that you have with so much success. So why don't you tell me a little bit about your journey as an entrepreneur? So um, I've always worked for myself um, as a midwife, um, a little bit as a health coach. Um, I really always enjoy the flexibility of working for, you know, for me. Um, because if you need more money, you can just light a candle or say a prayer and you get more clients. <laughs> Um, so that's something I've always liked, but I've never been able to really think big enough to how do I make real money where I can actually live and invest and save. And, you know, it was always just pretty much month to month. Mm. So, um, so that was kind of my background prior. And when I joined your program, I was living off my savings, watching it dwindle, watched a couple of your videos and they really just as you know, spoke exactly to what I needed and wanted in my life. And I took a chance and invested in your program. And I have to say, I think it's the best investment that I've ever made. Well, so. that makes me very happy to hear. And I'm not paying you to say that. So no, I just, just uh, want to make crying that here. So Contrary to some haters out there who might think I'm paying <laughs> people over here, I am not. No. <laughs> No, I really appreciate that. I mean, it's 
it's an honor to work with people like you who are incredibly good at what you do. And you're making such a massive difference with the work that you're doing. And I think what's really cool is like we work with people who have an expertise and an impact to make and um, true experience to be able to share with people. And you have so much of that under your belt behind the scenes that it's really incredible to see you bring it online. I'm curious for you what what that process was like to go from such a tactile, in-person, offline business to going online. Was it daunting for you? Did it intimidate you? 100%. I think that's why it took me a little while to get moving. Absolutely, hugely intimidating for me. Um, but you lay it out very clear. And if you just like put blinders on and do exactly what you say and don't jump ahead, I, you're going to be okay. But that's hard. You know, it's very simple. And yet it's very difficult to trust that this is all you really need to do. Yeah. I think there's true. so much in your, in your head and your subconscious that's going, well, it really just can't be this simple. Is it easy? Absolutely not. It, it takes hard work to build any kind of business. But the process is actually quite simple when it's laid out in a way that you know is proven, which is what we've done inside of the Authority Accelerator program. Um, mm -hmm. But I can imagine even with that game plan, it probably still felt overwhelming and daunting. There's probably a lot of imposter syndrome and self-doubt of, so is this much. really going to work? How did you deal with that part of it? Well, I shut down a lot. <laughs> I, um, I, I would make a couple steps and somebody would... Um, maybe like doing the interviews. I started out doing the ICA interviews where you interview, you know what we do. We interview people that, uh, you know, find out, well, we... anyway, I started out with the ICA interviews and every now and then I'd get somebody that um, hated my niche and, or, or had something negative to say, and it, it would shut me down for a little while. And I'd stop and think, oh my gosh, what am I doing? Am I a bad influence on the world? But I really believed in the work that I that I was bringing forth. And so I would get back up and do some more interviews. And I, I got to the point, like when I first started, I could barely even talk to people online. And then and then it just got easier and easier. And people were more receptive as time went on to my questions and answering. And it, it was if I could have stayed in the ICA phase and just made money, I would have stayed there. It's amazing. It's <laughs> Which, so which nice. if, if people don't know what the ICA process is, so it's a, a part of our process inside the Authority Accelerator Program where we basically have you do research um, because I don't think you can build anything substantial in terms of a business if you don't do the proper research before you develop. Um, and so for you, it was really important. And for everybody in our program, it's really important to actually have these conversations with the people that you ultimately are going to be serving and with the people that you aren't going to be serving because it teaches you who mm. is your best most ideal client, what they need, and the people that probably aren't going to be great to work with. So I like to think of it as, I think oftentimes people think that motivation comes from, um, or you have to be motivated to do the work. What I like to say is like doing the work motivates you. And so that process of doing the research is baby steps. It's baby steps to feel confident. Just like you said, with, with each conversation, you get a little more confidence under your belt of like, oh, people actually are interested in this. People actually really need this. And so by the time you actually have your program to launch and to sell, you're like, I know it's going to do well because I validated this. I know that there are people who need this and I've actually spoken to those people. And oftentimes those people are also going to be your first clients, which is really great. So mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did want to talk about what we're going to dive into today because I do want to make this really value driven for everybody here. So we're going to dive into a few key things um, that led to Chaley's success. So First, how she went from offline business to building an audience from scratch, which we kind of hinted at a little bit there. Uh, second, we're going to talk about the value of validating your offer before creating it. So the secrets behind how Chaley did the 
over $200,000 pre-sale launch of her program um, before going evergreen. And then how to go from one-to-one -one work to the ability to scale globally. And I did just want to remind you, there's actually someone in the chat right now that just wrote apply. But if you write apply, like it says on the screen in the chat, there are real humans on my team here. So Nicole and Sheridan are here. Be sure to say hello. Um, and they would love to connect with you one-on-one -on -one and simply learn more about you and what your goals are and how we can best support you in that process. Um, okay, so let's dig into, first and foremost, you know, how you went from offline business to building an audience from scratch. Because for most people, when they hear, okay, you're going to go and start an online business, it's like, well, I don't have an audience. I don't have social media. I don't know what I'm doing. Am I supposed to learn all of these platforms from scratch? It's so overwhelming. So for you, what were the first steps that you took to go from offline to building that audience from scratch? What was like the key contributor to doing that? Um, the key, well, you, um, your program was the key contributor to doing that. Um, yeah, I, I basically started with the ICAs and then I got an Instagram account just to practice. Um, and it was so terrifying to post something. I'd post something and then hide for like a week and then I would do something else. And, um, you know, I didn't really go anywhere with it. I think, I think I started with zero followers and I was so happy to have zero because I felt like I had uh, room to post and not, not worry. Yeah. And then I think I, now I have, um, like over 300, I'm still working on getting my messaging right. Uh, I created a website. My website is pathetic. I have a new one coming, but if you see that and can see that I succeeded in spite of all this, um, it's hopefully will serve as inspiration to people. Well, so. and I think something that's really important to understand is kind of what we were talking about earlier. So part of the process when you're creating an online program is I think the biggest mistake people make is they think, okay, well, in order to sell an online program and have a successful online course, they they go one of two paths. The first path is I'm going to create the whole course first. The other mm -hmm. path is I have to build an audience first before I can sell the course. Both are wrong. Um, mm -hmm. The best way to do it is to actually do it in tandem. And so mm -hmm. what we were talking about earlier in terms of the ICA process, which stands for ideal client avatar, what we have you do inside of our program is we have you figure out, okay, let's identify my transformation that I want to create with my offer and who that person is who needs it most. And then you learn to seek out that person online in all of these different spaces. So for you, in order to go from zero audience, where were some of the places that you were doing research and connecting with folks to mm. actually build that audience from scratch? So I was intimidated at first doing the online thing. So I sort of practiced on friends and people in my community um, and what face to face. So I, I began doing what you said, but I did it face to face and then it expanded into Zoom. And then it sort of became one verse and another. I would go to groups. I did mess up the first time I went to like a, a San Diego Psychedelic Society group and posted something and I got crickets and then they removed my post and I was just excited. I'm like, I'm not selling anything. I'm just doing research. I'd love to interview people with their experiences. and. Um, that didn't work. But I found that when I found posts where people said, oh, psychedelics changed my life, I was able to message them and ask them, could I interview and, and learn how they changed your life? And people were very excited to share. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's that simple. I think people, people watching are probably like, wait, what? All you did was talk to people and ask them questions because them. Mm -hmm. everybody's jaded in the online world. Everybody thinks everything is a you know scam or whatever. But the reality is we teach people to build businesses that can stand the test of time. And in order to do that, you really do have to understand who you're serving and what they really need from you. And so that's why step one really is research. Like you truly it's are research. doing research. It's truly, truly, truly research. It's truly listening to people. You have nothing to sell. You haven't built anything yet. You haven't even built support structure yet. So on those conversations, on those uh, calls, how did some of them go for you? Like, what was it like to really sit down with these folks who were interested in the realm and the niche that you were in and to actually talk to them and ask them the questions that we provide you with um, to get to the root of it? Like, what were some of the light bulb moments that happened for you? Oh, hearing people's own journeys of healing and things that they've experienced using this um, 
really blew my mind. And I realized that this, this particular form of medicine can't get out in the world fast enough because people really need it. So that was hugely inspiring. I got to speak to people who were also in studies, it, actual research done by Johns Hopkins and um, Stanford and somebody in authority accelerator connected me to someone and then they connected me to others. And to me, that was almost as exciting as getting to speak to Roland Griffith, you know, himself, like it was yeah. in incredible. And then also getting an idea of what people wanted. Uh, what they were looking for, what would they spend money on? Um, what if they had a class, what did they want to learn? And that was huge. If I went in with my own idea, I wouldn't be here. That's for sure. You have to go in open and listen to what your clients, your potential clients are sharing with you. Yeah. And even the negative ones are huge to and helpful. Yeah, absolutely. Hug your haters. Like the people who are giving you the negative feedback or negative thoughts, it's ultimately informing the person that you probably don't want to serve and also an avenue that you may not want to go down with your curriculum, your content, etc. So it's all good stuff. Listening all makes a difference in terms of how you're going to structure your business in the long term and who you're going to work with um, and who you can also have the biggest impact on as well. Um, so just to kind of like recap that and recap how Chaley went from zero audience, like you didn't mm -hmm. have an audience online at all when you started mm -hmm. this, right? Yeah. No. So <laughs> zero audience wasn't using social media, didn't do any of that stuff to, I believe you built an audience of about 60 people, right? Six zero. Um, yeah, maybe 70. You mean through the ICAs? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, a hundred. Well, 70 at the time I did my pop. Yeah, but okay. I keep doing the ICA, so yeah, I'm over 100 now. Here's the secret sauce here. The ICA process, this is a little bit of like a hidden treasure about how we do things, is that's a process that you can continue to do in your business for the rest of time because it never hurts to do more research. It never hurts to speak to people who could use your help. So mm -hmm. I think something that is important to understand is, so Chaley goes from zero audience, she starts networking really with people online, which sounds maybe weird and uncomfortable for you. And I'm sure it was for you. Um, but really what you did is you offered up value in the terms and you listened to the people who needed your help and people mm -hmm. who need help want to be listened to. And so mm -hmm. truly took the time to sit down with them, ask them questions over zoom, learn what they needed. And that built you from zero to an audience of 70 people before yeah. you even had anything to actually provide to them. But that right. audience was so hyper-targeted that when you did have something to provide to them, they were so excited about it. Plus they'd already spoken to you. You built trust with them because you truly listened to them without pitching anything because you didn't have anything to pitch. So mm -hmm. this makes sense. Mm -hmm. This is making mm -hmm. sense to you in the, in the chat. Can you just let mm -hmm. me know? Clear. Have a chance. <laughs> so <Yeah. laughs> the process is identify your transformation, how you want to serve people, who is the mm -hmm. person you want to serve, find where those people live online, start connecting by providing value, asking how you can serve, how you can help, getting them onto calls, listening to them, and that builds your rapport and it builds your trust. Um, I am seeing the comments about the background music. I oh, shoot. That's okay. <laughs> is that me? Sorry. Oh, We're live. I was so trying to calm down. <laughs> You don't mind um, turning it off. There we go. I'm so sorry. <laughs> okay, don't worry about it. Okay. Good. We can still hear you just fine. So okay. for all the people who are commenting for that, it's off now. Okay. I didn't know you could hear it, no, okay, but I'm calm now. <laughs> it's good. Um, we are live. So these things happen. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to say like, I hope that that's clear. That really is the proper process to build a, a course that is actually going to last and also is actually going to sell. And I think something that came up for you when you were talking through the process is you were like, yeah, I wanted to just know if it was even going to work. And also if yeah. like, if you had stuck with the idea that you came in with originally, it probably wouldn't have sold. And yeah that so it was so important to speak to real people and get that validation um i gotta say i came in not knowing at all what i was gonna do a course on yeah. i knew that i was called and wanted to explore my topic but i was thinking logically i should do something midwifery related or you know birth related um so it, it i really wasn't i don't know and yeah 
<laughs> I had a yeah. lot of different heroes journeys throughout my life. I'm older, so that happens. So I had a lot to choose from, but I yeah. ended up, I couldn't not do this one. I just, and I think, right. it's, I think it's important for people to understand, like we have so many transformations we go through in our lives and there are so many paths you can go down in terms of the expertise, expertise you can help others people with, other people with. And when we accept people into the authority accelerator program, we know this general area that they're going to be in, but that's the work that we do right away is to get clear on exactly how you're going to serve people, exactly what that transformation is that you're going to provide to people. Um, mm -hmm. And so once you got the clarity, then it was like, okay, now I actually know who I'm looking for in order to build an audience. Because if you had gone out and tried to build an audience on social media from scratch without actually knowing how you want to serve people, it's like working backwards and you would have attracted mm -hmm. the wrong people um, and it would have confused the algorithm and caused a whole mess. Uh, let's talk about the value of validating your offer before creating it. So mm -hmm. at this point, we have your tiny but mighty audience mm -hmm. <laughs> of mm -hmm. 70 people that you have built through strictly doing research, mm -hmm. listening to them and what they need. And then it comes time to actually validate this program idea that you have and you mm -hmm. have your transformation statements mm -hmm. and you have your curriculum outline of what you're going to teach, but you haven't built anything. No, nothing. So, <laughs> walk me through how this mm -hmm. went for you. <laughs> it was very surreal. I was ready. I had the curriculum lined out, what I would teach, how I would teach it. And I finally got like the the green light to launch. And my launch actually only lasted two weeks um, because it was so, I got so many people in such a short amount of time that I had to shut it down because I didn't know if I could handle it and I wanted to deliver and do what I said I would do. Um, I Yeah, so that's kind of, that's that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. That was wonderful. Yeah, the validating was, it was mind blowing. I had a very hard time, you know, at the same time you're working through your own stuff because you're breaking through barriers that you, like for me, I've never broken through some of these bar barriers before. You know, one, talking to people <laughs> that I don't know online, like that's hard. Um, two, you know, selling something and then putting a number of value on it. I ended up starting out when I first began, I thought, oh, what, how much should I charge for this? And I was like thinking $333. And then I was thinking maybe, you know, as I did more and more work and I recognized the value, I started thinking maybe 3,300. Well, the first launch was 6,500 because I understood the value by the time I got there. And I really only thought I was going to get about five people. Mm -hmm. So I was blown away. I shut down the credit card company because I, I had so many people that they they, they were blown. They were like, no, <laughs> so no, this doesn't it, make sense. It took some time yeah. to get paid, but um, I did get paid. <laughs> um, so I think it's important to kind of like break down exactly how this all happened. So mm -hmm. basically you build your audience of 70 people from doing the research. You then, I think to clarify for people here. So when we say that you are validating your program and you're selling your program, you're not building a funnel. You're not building any real tech stack. You are simply following up with the folks that you have spoken to and done research with. So yeah. you were able to kind of reach back out to those people that you did the research with and go, Hey, I have actually, you know, created this program um, that I'm going to be testing and I would love to invite you to be a part of it. It's going to help you achieve X solution that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. And from that, you had 70 people that you had connected with. How many mm -hmm. of those folks actually ended up enrolling in the program? 33. My magic number. Mm -hmm. 33. 33. 33. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. almost the 50. All I did was send an email out and I sent, I sent the wrong email. Uh, I said something like uh, apply here. And then I gave them the wrong email address. It was through MailChimp to oh apply God. to. So then I had to send out another email where it was like, oh, I did it. I'm sorry. Wrong email. <laughs> and I still like, I mean, you, it gives you, it's very forgiving. You know, yeah. you have some room to make little mistakes and just keep well, going. Because and you've actually connected with these people. So they're they're They built that trust with you. So they're like, that's okay. All good. Send me the right one. I'm interested. Yeah. So put that in perspective, goes from no business online, completely offline business, builds a tiny audience of 70 people, 
um, just from connecting individually and listening to them and doing the research. And 33 of those people end up enrolling in the first test version. We call it your POP, your prototype version of your program. And mm -hmm at $6,500 a person. So you can do the math, um, which is pretty incredible. Uh, a couple hundred thousand dollars for the first launch of your program, yeah. which is wild. So hmm. how did that sit with you? I mean, to go from completely offline, generating about $45,000 a year as a midwife to being able to build this like, you know, multi six figure company in a very short period of time. What did that feel like for you internally? How did you synthesize that? How did you process that? How did it feel? Unbelievable. It, it felt like love. Like it just felt so good that, um, that that was happening for the way it was. And it took a long time to process. I, you know, when, when you say zero to hero, I really was at zero. I used my entire savings building this. I, you know, maybe could have launched it sooner had I had the confidence, but I, I didn't have the confidence. So it took me some time to catch up with, with the process. Um, right. So it took me probably until we had that call, you know, in November, um, October, November to really own it and be like, yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, yeah. I'm all right. This yeah. is good. So I love it. It just, um, and it, what's, I mean, it's super exciting and I love seeing the results of my students as well and seeing them. The program is just beautiful. It's, it, I couldn't have done it better if I, if this is the way to do it. You find out what people want and then you give it to them and you create it. It's just yeah. perfect. I mean, it sounds so simple, but we over, tend to overcomplicate this in so many ways. Like you mm -hmm. listen to what they need, you give them what they need. And mm -hmm. you did that in an incredibly effective way. Um, and you mm -hmm. then were able to fulfill the curriculum for them. And how was the process of actually teaching and, you know, going through the curriculum with, with your new and first students in the program? Oh, it was intimidating. Um, my life, you know, I have a teenager and I was having some trouble with her at this time. She was, well, she's going, she was going through a hard time. She's come through it. Thank yeah. goodness. But, um, I hired a teacher at that point cause I was just so afraid that I would mess it up. And so I hired somebody who was a professor who wasn't an expert in the subject, but was an expert teacher. And so, um, I would give her the information and she would, deliver it for the, at least she did that for the first probably half of the program. And then when it came time for someone with experience to step in and teach, um, I, I was able to step up and do a great job. Yeah. That's so. amazing. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And let's talk about some of your, your clients and like some of the more beautiful moments you've had with them in terms of them seeing results. Cause I think that's really what it's all about is yes, you're creating this program to sell and to serve, but ultimately you're creating it so that it can last a long time. And the only way a program lasts a long time is that it's actually good. So, um, mm -hmm. so your program has worked wonders for your clients and how does that feel for you? That feels ama amazing. I love getting texts from them telling me that, oh my gosh, I'm in a room with somebody and they've got their blindfold on and their headset and I can't believe I'm working and getting yeah. paid for this. It's just yeah. incredible the results my students or my graduates or however you would call that are getting with their clients. And I love when they share their wins with me. Um, I have one student who's already made eight times the investment of the yeah. program and the license fee back. That's and amazing. yeah, he, I was really, I'm, I'm excited. And anybody else who's, yeah, as you mentioned earlier, everyone else who's already licensed and have like at least a month of that under their belt um, has made their money back. That's awesome. So, That's so great. Um, we did have one question good. come in from Sandra and she said, but how much time did it take? Um, so this is going to be different for every single person who comes into our program and applies it. But for you, from the time you, uh, you started the process of doing the research and connecting with people in the 70 ICAs to actually selling the program. What was the time frame? Gosh, it was either, it might've been a year. Yeah. Could it have been a year? But I am not typical. I am, well, I'm a neurodivergent. I mean, neurodiverse, whatever the right word is. I'm a little, you know, learning from zero. Um, on, I couldn't have even gotten onto a YouTube live at that time. And I had a lot of um, confidence issues and a little bit of, you know, making sure I'm 
in a safe, um, that I'm safe with my subject because it's on the edge, you know? Mm -hmm. So I, it took me some time to get that confidence. Had I had the confidence, I probably could have done that. I joined in like July. I was ready by December of that year to launch. And I got on a call with you and I went completely blank and I couldn't say anything. And I started to cry and I just was like, I'm not ready. And I, and I kind of shut back down for a while. And then I waited until I had no choice, but to do it. Yeah. I had run out, like most people don't work like me. I could have done it in six months. Yeah. Six months. Mm -hmm. Um, I think what's really interesting is when you actually like after doing the research process and you decided to sell, you're actually, your sales period was two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. And I wouldn't call it selling. I just yeah. said, hey, I'm up and running and licensed. I, did, I went above and beyond and actually got a license with the state just because of the nature of my subject and um, made sure everybody was safe. And then two weeks I was full and couldn't take any more. Yeah. Pretty incredible. So timelines are different for everybody. And I kind of call it like, a, I took this term from one of our clients, actually, who we did another case study with Jeffrey. It's called a, a true but useless question. Um, and I say that because it's totally dependent on you, your situation, and how fast or slow you want to take the process. We've had people start from scratch and have their business up and running in three months. And we've had people take six months and we've had people take a year. So it's totally dependent. But I think a really good question to ask yourself right now is like, where would you want to be in a year from now? Because if this mm. can happen in 12 months. That mm -hmm. can absolutely happen for you as well. And look at the difference from a year ago to where you are now. Um, well, I'm nine months in and I've already made, I just added it up and this isn't about the money for me, but yeah. it's like, you know, working out, you get fit as a side effect, you know, of stress <laughs> yeah. release. This is kind of like, I'm getting paid as a as a bonus on top yeah. of getting to do what I love doing. Yeah. But so far, I'm nine months into the to the year because my year started in March. Yeah. And I've made three hundred and thirty six thousand nine hundred dollars. Incredible. I think that's like a quarter of a million dollars. If yeah. I, oh yeah. Well, yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Well over. So, <laughs> and when that's I incredible. when I started this, I didn't even know. Yeah. I just I sat down with somebody who said, "Well, imagine making fifty k a month." And I was like, what's a K? So, I mean, that's where I was at. <laughs> that's incredible. That's a big change. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's a huge shift. And I think the point that you made is so important. And I know it sounds like it's easy for you to say because you've now generated that money. But I think it's important to understand like it has to come from a place of you actually care about what you're doing and you get to do work that doesn't feel like work because you're so passionate about it. And then you as a bonus and side effect of that, you're actually making a really solid living from it as well, beyond a solid mm. living from it as well. It's a dream. Yeah. It's it's really a dream. I, I'm so grateful for your program and everything that you've shown me. And what's even cool, what I really love the most is that as far as on the Authority Accelerator, your program list is say that long. Yeah. I'm only this far down right. the, <laughs> right. the thing. There's a lot the more. Yeah. yeah. You haven't even touched YouTube yet. This is like yeah. appearance on YouTube. I'm very excited. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> for anybody who's here and who's interested, I'm getting some questions about how do I start, etc. And Sabrina, I did want to, um, you're asking a lot of questions about the process. If you have any questions about the process or how to start, I'm going to drop the information below as well for you. But um, we actually have McCole and Sheridan from my team here, and they would love to speak with you to support you in the process. So um, you can just comment below with apply, just write the word apply, and that will signal us to be able to uh, connect with you. And Nicole and Sheridan will be on top of connecting with you. Um, so yeah, just put apply in the chat and you'll be good to go. Um, so thank you so much for kind of diving into the validation process, because I think that's so important for people to understand. So now you have this validated program and you've actually now packaged it into a pre-recorded program because you've tested it, you got the feedback and then packaged it. Um, so now you really do have the ability to go from, you know, the unscalable model of doing one-to-one -one work in real life to truly being able to scale globally um, and to have a business that really does detach your time from your income. So talk about the kind of structure of your program now. So you have your course and then you have support. Tell me more about that. Because I think people are curious about how that works. So, um, yeah, I have so I have my course. I meet with my clients twice twice a week. My students um, right now it's for three hours each time, but I'm changing that 
um, to two hours mm -hmm. and I'll probably do less, but people really appreciate the community, which I'd say is one thing you offer that's huge and why I joined your your program was because you offer this one-to-one -one or one-to-many support. It's not just we're thrown into the others online yeah. figuring it out. And that's huge. Yeah. So I kind of try to model it exactly like you. <laughs> that's the plan. Oh, that's awesome. So, yeah. And to, to kind of break down what that looks like. So you have your program that becomes packaged once you've tested it and validated it. You have your community of your clients. They're all like-minded. They're all in the same place and space and time. And so they love learning and supporting one another. We also have so many clients here today just here to support you, which for me goes Thank you. beyond. Like, I just love that so much because it shows the power of community. Because um, this is hard to do on your own. It's hard to navigate on your own. And it's really nice to know you're not alone in it. Um, yeah. And then you have mentorship and support through weekly calls. And those calls are, yes, in a group setting, but you actually can speak individually just like this to mm -hmm. people and go deeper, get past hurdles, all of those things. So, And everybody's question helps you. So even yeah. if you don't talk, just showing up and hearing it over and over, it just makes it easier to, to do totally. it. And sometimes you don't even know you have a question and then somebody asks it and you're like, oh my gosh, that was my question. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. I didn't even know I had it, but it just got answered for me. So now it's in the structure where how we teach it is exactly the structure that we have within the Authority Accelerator. And it does allow you to scale because now you don't have to teach in a live setting. You don't have to kind of be there for the person to get the outcome and be present for the person to get the outcome. Somebody could be setting your program in a completely different time zone on their own pace, on their own timing, and still get the result without you needing to be there because your brain, your knowledge is now pre-recorded and pre-packaged into this program. Plus you have the support of the community daily and the support of the calls. So um, mm -hmm. let me know if that makes sense to all of you in the chat and you can just put clear again in the chat, but that's how you structure it and take it to a place where it is be able to scale truly to wherever you want to take it to. Um, and I think that's a question I have for you is like where you're at now and with what you've built. Like, first of all, I'm sure you didn't even think this was possible. So like, what's next? Like, what are your, what are your goals after this? Wow. Um, so I've got a few of them. Um, first, I want to keep up with my mailing list because that was so valuable for me in the in the beginning. And I've got lots of announcements and things going on that I think would be great to send out to people so they know. Um, so that's first. Second, I do want to start my YouTube video and I want to shift my Instagram to be really direct messaging to my clients. I'm shy with the camera and that's a hard one for me, but I'm going to bust through that one yeah. this year. You're doing great. Do so <laughs> thank you. I'm very I'm really excited. Um I booked a cruise for the end of January. Yay. Um yeah, when the credit cards finally released the money, I just booked a cruise at, for me and two of my kids. And I'm actually really excited to try to hold the class um from the cruise ship, just yeah. the two hours. Um, yeah. because that was my goal. I when I joined, I wanted to you know, when my kids grew up, which I've one year left with, with one of them in the house. And uh, I mean, you know, where I'm fully responsible and uh, I want to go and do this from a cruise ship and just go all around the world. Can so you I'm gonna give it a little share test. a photo of that when you do that? Cause I'm so excited to see yes, it. Yes, <laughs> I will share that. <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. Um, yeah, I mean, that's part of it. It's complete location freedom. You can just have your laptop and work Amazing. from wherever and it's a really beautiful thing. Um, mm -hmm. Wanted to answer one question that came in from video share, not really clear on what we're teaching and how we come up with the topic. Uh, are we teaching how to teach? Absolutely not. Um, <laughs> no, so every single person who comes into our program, maybe you just joined, but um, every single person who comes into our program has something, a skill set or an expertise or knowledge that they want to teach people. So um, in Chaley's case, it's plant medicine. Um, and there's a specific niche kind of like within that, that she's supporting people become a facilitator in. Uh, but we have everything from doctors, dancers, DJs, lawyers, accountants, everything in between. Um, so you teach what you know, and we help you create the structure to package your expertise into a highly scalable online business online course. Um, mm -hmm. Okay. So wanted to drop the link because we are wrapping up here. Um, Sheridan and McColl are here. So if you do comment with apply, they would love to connect with you. Um, 
for anybody who has an edge chance to connect in that way. I'm going to drop the link right now. It's also on the screen. You can go to sunnyleonardeasy.com slash apply to fill out an application to see how we can best support you and actually speak to a person on my team. Um, and if you can't get that, uh, then you can email uh, s at sunnyleonardeasy.com with the subject line apply and we'll get back to you there as well. Um, so to kind of wrap things up, I wanted to ask you, you know, it did it was a process of, you said, kind of a year, probably could have done it in six months, but regardless, to build this kind of a business within a year even is really incredible and really impressive. Um, mm -hmm. When you think about yourself pre-Authority Accelerator and post-Authority Accelerator, well, you're still in it, but but <laughs> where you are now, what do you feel like are the biggest differences that it's actually made for you on a non-business level, because yes, we teach people how to build a business, but my goal is it for, for it to really have a ripple effect to every part of your life. So mm. how do you feel as a person and what do you think are the biggest differences that it's made to you? Oh, I feel incredible. I'm so much more confident and um, I just, am, uh, you know, have more time with my kids. Um, for a little while I didn't because it was so busy, but now it's falling into a nice schedule where we can just be. So, yeah. I mean, it's hard work, but it's fun work. Yeah. And I'm also making sure I have time off. So yeah. every aspect of my, you know, if you go around that dimensions, those eight dimensions of wellness from finance, occupational, um, what else? Everything physical. Well, physical went down a little bit, but I'm, <laughs> that's a priority and a goal yeah. is, uh, cause I, I wasn't used to sitting all day yeah. behind a computer. So I'm working with that aspect now, but every other part of my life has improved yeah. and it's been just quite a journey. I have a lot, I'm just excited about the yeah. future and what's coming. And, oh, that makes me you know. so happy. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. I love that so much. Thank um, you. And the final thing I'll ask you, um, because I know, I know there are people sitting here right now. I see you. Um, there are people sitting here right now who are going, I know I want to do this. Like I have something that I want to share and we can impact with. Um, and I've been thinking about Authority Accelerator. I've watched Sunny's other case studies and I've watched her videos and I'm interested, but I'm scared. And I think everybody here can understand a little bit of fear. Um, mm -hmm. What would you say to that person about? you know, taking the next step and what would your advice be? I would say do it. Absolutely. 100% do it. It will change your life. Follow the instructions. So don't go trying to get ahead. Don't, don't Preach. act like you think you know what you're doing. Like go in open and ready to learn because Sunny has you covered. You have us covered. It's great. Oh, I can grow this entire business into an incredible, like, I'm, I'm excited. I'm working yeah. on company culture now and, and branding. So it's, it's beautiful. Yeah. Oh, do it. <laughs> do it. Uh, yeah. Do, do the stuff in order. Greg just said, absolutely. You got to do the stuff in order. That's how it works. Um, well, mm -hmm. thank you so much for your time. I am so grateful. I think we answered most of the questions um, as we were going through everything. But if you were inspired by Taylor's story, if you appreciated her sharing her time, just put inspired in the comment section. And if you're watching the replay of this, feel free to leave your thoughts and your light bulbs also in the chat in the comment section. It's such an honor to speak to you. Um, and I know we get to chat in other ways as well, but in this setting, just to like honor your journey and to see where you've come from and where you are now, it's really just incredible. And I'm so grateful to be a part of that journey with you and mm. kudos to you. And I'm so happy for you that you like really just, you did it. Like you took the leap and you did the work and you're continuing to do it and continuing to make a big, big impact. And um, that's really commendable. So I'm so excited to see where you are a year from now. I can't wait. Mm -hmm. um, it's mm -hmm. going to be awesome. And yeah, I'm just super grateful for the ability to work with people like you. This is why this is why we do what we do. We do this mm. so that we can help people like you make the impact that you're meant to make on the people who need you most. So yes, I'm. Yeah, thank you. I really couldn't have done this without you. This it wasn't something. I don't think anybody can really do this without a support team like this and the whole authority accelerator, giving inspiration and cheering you on when you need it and giving you feedback. It's just wonderful. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, Taylor. Thank you, everyone who tuned in. Uh, leave your thoughts and takeaways in the comments below. They are my love language. We love to see them. And the support goes a long way. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And we'll see you all very soon. We'll see you in the new year. What is happening? We'll see you in 2024. Mm -hmm. Have an incredible holiday season. We'll talk to you very soon. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye.